welcome to Maya, a town about 10 miles north of Porto, Portugal's second largest city in the north region. Maya has just over 120,000 habitants and we are here in the city center just facing the city municipality. Our church, Comunidade da Paz, is a few miles from here. So let's go on and visit it. This is our church, Comunidade da Paz. Comunidade da Paz is an independent church, Baptist church, with about 90 church members located in the suburban area of Maya. This is our monthly newsletter, which is how we mainly communicate with our members. Another way we communicate is by using the court boards. We have two court boards, one for posting news on the upcoming activities such as plays, Sunday school, youth ministry gatherings, and another court board is for news related to missionary work. This is the pastor office and I am here to show you some websites. Most of our youth uses sites as, such as i5. is isn't a formal means of communication used by the church. It is something we would like to explore in the near future. We've also posted some videos on YouTube of church activities and some photos of Flick. These are also a means of communicating with our external audiences. We also do emails sent out to our members and ask them to forward it on to friends and family members. Whenever we have an activity, we normally create a poster A3 or larger, such as this, and have them posted up to our church and um, distributed in churches within the region. Our communication challenge starts with the following. First, basics. We are still defining our mission statement, our objectives and our visions. Number two, financial. Because of our church does not have a budget for communication activities, we are unable to pay staff members that are tech or communication savvy, so assignments are delegated to various people with many people delivering different types of work. There sometimes fails to be some consistent in our message and graphics. This brings us to number three, branding difficulties. Once we've done the basic, we hope to our church will know what a brand, brand actually is and be able to communicate our brand in a clear manner. Number four, culture. About 80% of Portugal comes from a restrictive religious Roman Catholic tradition and are very wary about other churches. The evangelic church in itself is also fragmented in, and this doesn't allow us to communicate in a clear, unified voice. This means that overall evangelic churches in Portugal have to combat negative, negative perceptions, which isn't always easy. And the last point, number five, PR media. 
our church also needs to develop some sort of PR relationship with key journalists in the spiritual media fields. This hasn't been done before. Our church in has members that are very creative and so we are very good at doing plays here on our church altar. This performance have had very good results in evangelizing. We have had a number of members, members interested in seminary schools and therefore we have a good team of theology teachers and leaders. Our praise and worship team is also fantastic. They are very active in the church. Once we start making more use of online and other communicating medium, this will be a bonus. About our future projects, we are busy building our website and we hope to have it up and running by the end of the year. This process has forced us to sit and think about the basic mission, object, objectives, goals, etc. It has, also, it has also made us reflect on who will be responsible for what. I believe we will need to continue to be creative, more online saving. We need to be more strategic, just as God has always been right through the Bible. Here are our church contacts. You are welcome to Portugal, you are welcome to visit Comunidade da Paz. This is Moacir Matias saying goodbye and God bless you.